What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we are talking about how to build a YouTube studio at home. Today I'm joined by my friend Clement Sang who took his stage from looking like this to looking something like this. Pretty cool, right? Make sure you stick around to the end of the video, grab your pens and papers, you want to take some notes and I'm sure you can do the same at home. So here we go. Without further ado, Clement, welcome. Uh, let's do this. So what I would love to do is start off with giving kind of an overview of what this kind of space we're working with. Is that okay with you? Yeah, sure. Awesome. So if you don't mind taking the iPad uh, and walking around. All right. So this is Clement's space. Uh, he's working in his home office. He has an awesome screen. He's done a little bit of setup. And as you can see, there are some imperfections. but. Remember, imperfections are great. You're definitely gonna wanna work with them because you are going to use the power of movie magic. Thanks for showing them around, Clement. The office space that you use is about nine by nine, you said? Yes. All right, so for those of you in Canada, nine feet by nine feet, definitely workable. Uh, and so we're going to try and set this up for him to get his awesome YouTube videos shot in that space. Let's set up your camera. Uh, and you can go ahead and put that on your tripod. So for those of you at home right now, he is using a Canon Rebel T1i. Um, it's an older camera, but still a goodie. Um, he's invested maybe just under a thousand dollars for everything that you'll see here today. Um, he has a kit lens called with a 55 mil, uh, sorry, a 50 millimeter and a 10 to 18 millimeter. Um, they are awesome lenses for making YouTubes at home. So uh, you can go ahead and prop that in a place furthest away so we can get that bokeh effect. Beautiful. So this is the space he's working with. Uh, he's gonna push as far away as possible. You can go ahead, um, try to get it in frame. And what you wanna do is put yourself in the middle. Uh, and for those of you who aren't familiar with cameras, we have grids called thirds. Um, you see those lines on your camera sometimes. Um, what you want to do is either get in the dead center of that or along the lines in the thirds. I'm going to get Clement to take a quick test shot. And while you're here, you can promote your, your channel too. Talk about what it's about. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, my name is Clement and I help first time home buyers find their dream home. And I teach people about real estate in Vancouver. Beautiful. All right. So we have that set up. We got the camera set up. Let's work with the environment that we have, right? So let's get you to pick up that iPad and we're gonna take a look at what we're working with. So the light sources we have right now, as you guys can see from his iPad, aren't the greatest. You have the ceiling light, which is not so flattering, but it does the job. Uh, so we're gonna turn that off eventually in a second here, but let's look at the behind you so we set the stage. Really quickly here, as you can see, Clement has a shelf. He's added a bit of an accent. He's put some ornaments and some things that really represent who he is. Um, I see he has a lamp there, which really adds a pop to the video and will actually add at his, his hairline light later on. Uh, and I'll explain that in a bit. Um, he has his computer monitor in the frame. He's got some personal pictures of himself, which is awesome. And his desk is super clean. So a real quick pro tip here, guys. You want to make sure that you declutter the area that you're working with to make that movie magic at home. Great. Excellent. Uh, so let's talk about gear. Okay. Really quickly. Again, we have the rebel, um, Canon camera right here. We have a tripod, uh, tripod is definitely something you want to purchase. If you don't have it already, I'll put uh, the links in the description below for tripods that I recommend. Um, and also you want to get probably a lens similar to the one he has. Mind you, you don't have to have a DSLR to shoot videos. You can use your iPhone, you can use whatever you have. Um, and I'll even give you examples in the links below on people who use their iPhones to make awesome videos and get really high views and engagement. So going back to the gear, um, we have the cameras here. We, he, he's using a cage, but you don't need to um, because you can have a tripod. A couple things that I would recommend that you guys get is either a shotgun mic like this, or you get a source monitor that kind of looks like this. 
Um, it makes it so much easier for you guys to see what you're doing instead of trying to go behind the camera all the time uh, and fiddling with all the settings. Um, so yes, you definitely want to get one of those. And also, I'll put a link right here uh, so that you can go to check out what a cam link can do. If you have a DSLR or any other camera that has a HDMI or any sort of video feed out, you can use that as a higher resolution camera than a webcam and make your computer your source monitor. Now that we have the gear, I would love to talk about the camera settings. Can we go behind the camera really quickly? Sure. Nice. So your shutter speed right now is one over four, which is okay. Um, we're gonna change that to one over 50. Because the rule of thumb for shutter speed is that you wanna make it one over two times your frame rates per second that your video is being shot in. So typically you are gonna shoot at about 24 frames per second. So double that is one over 50. Um, so let's leave it at that to get the most natural motion in your video. And then we're gonna change your f-stop to as low as possible if that's, if that's okay with you. Okay, so 5.0 is the lowest it goes. That's awesome. It, the lower the f-stop, the more bokeh effect, the blurry background you'll get. Um, so that's something for you guys to consider. And ISO, we're gonna pump it up because I can see the dial, the negative two to plus two. Um, it actually has to be in the middle there. Oh, wow, okay, 1600 looks good with the ceiling light. But what you wanna do is turn on your softbox because that's the light you're gonna be using in, in the show. Yep. All right, and as he's doing that, um, mind you guys, soft boxes are super important. You wanna get a diffuser so you don't get that harsh lighting on your face. Um, kind of like the one I'm using right now. And you want to get a big light source. The bigger the light source, the better because you get more diffusion and it makes you look really good. So, as he's getting that set up, uh, you can just turn on the soft box, okay? And you can turn off the ceiling light to see what kind of lighting we're using. Excellent. Um, you want to turn off the ceiling light because it's not. And if you look at the camera settings now with the soft box there, Nice. So you got your shutter speed to 1 over 50, perfect. Your f-stop is at, or aperture is at 5. Um, the ISO, you can actually lower now because you have a, a bigger light source that you're getting more light coming in, so perfect. 800 seems to be the good one here for you. Can we take a quick test shot to see what that looks like on your camera? And here we go. So Clement, go ahead and give your one-liner again. Uh, my name is Clement and I help first time home buyers find their dream home and I teach people about Vancouver real estate. What you want to do also as a rule of thumb is when you're in frame like this, rule of thumb is you have about three fingers above your head so that you're not overcrowding or undercrowding the frame. And we're going to talk about white balance. So really quickly, white balance. Um, basically makes your shots warm or cold, that blue tint or that warm orangey, nice sunshine color tint. So the next one we're gonna talk about is the lighting. So we have a key light. Now the key light is the one that Clement has right there. If you wanna show them really quickly, Clement, that is the key light. Uh, so the key light's there, it's gonna be on for good. What we can also add are accent lights and back filler lights. So the accent lights he has on his desk um, and he's pre-installed these, is either a blue or an orange one. He can change the colors, which is really cool, as you can see, blue, beautiful. And he also has a lamp on his shelf that he's put there to act as kind of a hairline light, to make him pop out of the screen. Beautiful. Awesome, and what you wanna do is make sure that it doesn't kind of shine straight at the lens because that's definitely gonna be a distraction, but that's good, what he has now, and finally, he has a back filler light, so he can shine it um, behind him and make sure it points towards him, um, and he's gonna put it on the floor. So can we take a quick look at your filler light? Beautiful. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to Voltrox. Voltrox. Beautiful. And while he's setting that up, you guys, you don't have to have all these lights if you don't want to. Um, they are beautiful accents that make your video footage so much better but definitely work with what you can. If you don't have any lights, the best light to use is actually natural light, sunlight. Get close to a window. So that's good, we can do it that way. So the wall um, is acting as kind of a reflector so the light 
hits back towards you. Um, and we'll see how that looks like. So when you're done setting it up, you can go ahead and go back to your camera and we'll take another really quick test shot. My name is Clement and I help first time home buyers find their dream home. And I also teach Vancouver real estate to people. Nice, well done, well done. Now that you've seen that footage, what you may have noticed is that the room is small, there's a lot of hard walls and hard objects, so that makes the room a bit echoey. It's all right if, you, if that's what you're working with right now, but I would recommend that you get a compressor mic, something like a Blue Yeti, or even like the one I have right now, which is the Audio-Technica USB mic. They work really, really well. They kind of get rid of the echoey sounds so that your audio is super crisp. Um, this is Clement's Blue Yeti mic right here. Um, definitely check it out. You can download software, which I will put in the link in the description below for free. Uh, and after you get the mic, you can start recording on your own and sync up your mic's audio to the video that I record in post. Awesome. So he's gonna hit record and he can kind of leave it on in the background and he's going to record his voice. So go ahead, Clement, and give us a, a nice test shot. Here we go. Hi, my name is Clement and I am a realtor in Vancouver. I help first time home buyers find their dream home. And I also teach people about Vancouver real estate. A couple final touches that I did want to talk about is when you're taking videos at home, especially in a home office, utilize what you have. So you have the computer screen. What you can do is add maybe a screensaver or a website that is relevant to what you guys are talking about. Um, and finally, ambient lighting, okay? Like I said, you work with what you have. Clement has some really, really beautiful ambient lighting there. Um, that's because he put some thought and some time into it. All right, Clement. So what we're gonna do here is take a final test shot. I'm hoping you're ready. We're, I'm gonna ask you a couple interview questions and you can go ahead, look at the camera and answer them. Is that okay? Yeah. Excellent. And here we go. Are you ready? Okay. So Clement, okay. tell me, why did you join the Legacy Program? I joined the Legacy Program because I wanted to give more to my uh, clients and to other people that want to learn more about Vancouver real estate. Because real estate is a big purchase and without the proper knowledge, they might be making a mistake. Awesome. Beautiful. And so what have you gotten so far out of the program? Um, I've learned a lot in terms of the process of creating the video, of setting the stage up, having good lighting, a lot of gold nuggets to set up your first video. And would you recommend it to anybody? Yeah, I recommend it to anybody that wants to start uh, creating content on YouTube for their viewers. So there you have it guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. If you're interested in joining Legacy, definitely send me a direct message. Again, links in the description below. And I wanna thank Clement for joining me today. And right here, there are two more videos that you can actually look at to up your video game, get your legacy content creation journey started. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay amazing, stay blessed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.